Um, what's your thoughts on Bitcoin specifically, uh, Bitcoin having coming up and kind of the macro backdrop? And yeah. Any specific thoughts there or just generally people should have it in that safe haven bucket? Well, I, I think that I think some people would consider Bitcoin not a safe haven. They would consider it a wild speculation. I think other people would say it's not a speculation. It's a great store of value. Um, regardless of whether it's a great store of value or pure speculation, typically in either of those aspects, the, re the risk return is pretty high. In other words, the asymmetry of the trade is pretty good. So, you know, it would not shock me at all to see Bitcoin go to $2,000 and stay there for five years. It also wouldn't surprise me to wake up tomorrow and find out it's $50,000. It's, <laughs> I think that's the kind of potential it has in both ways, right? I think it's, inc I think it has incredible mm -hmm. potential. But it's that, but because it has such high potential, whether you like it or not, whether you hate it or not, if the rest of the world decides that Bitcoin is the way to go, just the same way that currently the world has decided that the dollar is the way to go, Bitcoin is going to go a lot higher. And, the, you know, so I, I think the asymmetry of it warrants having at least some exposure. Um, whether or not, and, and I, I'm to a certain extent a Bitcoin maximalist. Um, I, I think there's actually a lot of problems with Bitcoin. I don't really have time to go into all of my reasons right now. But again, because I think others will view it as a relative safe haven, and, and because I, I think it's a great speculation, even if it's not a safe haven, I still think I still own some. I think everybody should own some. Um, I kind of a Bitcoin maximalist because I think it has enough of a first mover advantage that um, it would be very hard to supplant. Not impossible, but I think it would be very hard to supplant. The network effects are there. The branding is there. All, all of the, the reasons, um, typical things that you see around a first mover advantage, Bitcoin, I think, has in spades. Um, so I, I kind of like it for that reason. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm kind of rambling there or not. I don't know if that answers your question. No, but uh, I, 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 I do. Th I, 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 I think... The thing that I like about Bitcoin, and it's not quite th this way now as it was two or three years ago. I loved that it was just the wild, wild west. It's pure. It, it, it's 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 coming under more regulation, but for a while it was just pure wild, wild west capitalism, just raw. Mm -hmm. And some people liked that, and some people didn't. I found it fascinating. So, and I still kind of find it fascinating. So, if for no other reason, I'm going to continue to follow Bitcoin for that aspect. Yeah, one of the things that's been very apparent, I think, over the last uh, kind of month or so in this liquidity crisis is, uh, you know, hours of operations, circuit breakers, all these things that are there to kind of temper uh, volatility in equities and, and other markets uh, doesn't exist in Bitcoin. So you get the, you know, 50% yeah. drops and then you turn around yeah. and it's back 20% yeah. and you're just like, Jesus, what right. is this? And you're like, hey, that's a free market, yeah. 